Hello, my name is Macy, and my presentation will be about the coral reef. So let's get into it. Climate change. Climate change has can have long-term effects due to humans, such as burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and it also leads to natural causes like rising temperatures, sea level changes, and environmental impacts on the earth. Now, what does coral bleaching have to do with it? It has everything to do with it because coral bleaching only becomes stress when environmental factors are in. So like water temperature, pollution, global warming, climate change causes the coral to turn white and to die. What is and coral here's bleaching? a video about it. The corals that make up reefs around the world may look like one giant organism, but they're actually an ecosystem with many small creatures working together. Thousands of tiny jellyfish-like animals called polyps connect together to form colonies. These colonies host algae, which provide corals with food, as well as their vivid color, through the process of photosynthesis. A combination of global warming, water pollution, and other environmental disturbances can stress corals, leading them to expel the tiny algae that they need to survive. The process, called bleaching, leaves only a white skeleton, where before there were vibrant colors. Bleached corals aren't necessarily dead, Restoring cool water temperatures or removing pollutants can help fragile corals recover. But without improving conditions, they essentially die. Why should you care about coral bleaching? About 25% of marine life depends on the habitat created by coral reefs. More than 500 million people worldwide rely on reefs for food, tourism, employment, even protection from extreme weather events. And nearly $30 billion in estimated reef value is at stake. Global bleaching events, once a rarity, are happening more often and with greater intensity. We're currently in what scientists say is the worst bleaching event on record, and it could last into next year. Unless we do something soon, coral reefs could go from the cradle of marine life to its grave. Now, what does the coral reef do for our planet? The coral reef has a critical role in helping our planet regulate the carbon and nitrogen cycles, and it also contributes to our ecosystem. Now, why is the coral reef important? The coral reef provides a habitat for marine life, protects coastlines from erosion and storms. Also, healthcare gets its medicine from coral reef, like cancer patients, to help fight against cancer and it provides food for all for some marine life and here's a video about coral reefs under the waves all over the world there are spectacular ecosystems corals are tiny little animals that together can form huge reefs spanning hundreds of kilometers teeming with diverse life so let's take a look the oldest corals lived 450 million years ago that's long before dinosaurs, who clock in from around 240 million years ago. The first members of the human family only appeared around 7 million years ago. Thousands of species can be found living on one coral reef. For example, the Great Barrier Reef contains over 400 species of coral, 1,500 species of fish, 4,000 species of mollusk, and six species of turtle. And because of this amazing biodiversity, we're starting to discover that there is a lot we can learn from coral. Coral extracts have been used to develop treatments for asthma, arthritis, cancer, and heart disease. It's been estimated that coral reefs provide a global value of 5.7 trillion pounds each year, including from fishing and tourism. More than 500 million people worldwide depend on reefs for food, jobs, and coastal protection. The ridges in coral reefs can reduce wave energy by up to 95%, providing crucial protection from threats such as tsunamis. If we were to travel back in time 40 million years, the most diverse place on Earth was somewhere between where London and Paris are now. Today, the Coral Triangle in Southeast Asia holds that claim. And until the 13th of September in London, the wonder and diversity of these spectacular underwater ecosystems are on display at the Natural History Museum's major exhibition, Coral Reefs, Secret City. Now, how can we help the coral reef? We can reduce our carbon footprint, such as taking a bike instead of your car, Reduce pollution and waste. Start recycling using glass instead of plastic. Support groups that help the 
the oceans like cleanup groups and be mindful when it comes to coral reefs. And thank you. That was my presentation.